Good luck. You don't need it though. You're a champion. <laughs> love it. I love it. Hi everyone. How's it going? So we are recording. Jana hit the record button. So mind your manners, mind your manners. Okay. <laughs> I am just pulling up my agenda. I think it's welcome, pro time and training. So um, welcome to our Monday night call. We're going to hopefully keep this around 30 minutes. May go a little bit longer, just um, depends on just the flow of what I'm going to talk to you guys tonight about. So um, Jana and Rosie asked me to kind of focus on um, coaching and I'm excited about it because it was something that I needed to be refreshed on too and just be reminded of. So just some of the stuff that I found and looked up, I'm excited about just sharing with you guys. And um, I have actually a PDF I will get to Jana and we can get on the um the shine page and the dream catcher page so everyone will have access to the pdf that i'm gonna kind of share tonight so um so welcome and i guess we'll start with just you know is there anything that you guys want to celebrate tonight about and what kind of wins have you guys had this week and what is going on in your mary Kay life and world right now nancy well, this last week I had a booth at a um, Christmas bazaar over in Blaine at the church, and they asked me if I would uh, come and represent Mary Kay, so of course I said I would love to, and so I went, and they had a fantastic turnout. Um, there were so many people there. Um, I had so many people come up and tell me that I've known that they didn't realize that I was a Mary Kay consultant. So, um, of course I handed out all the books I had and I took orders for $380. And I also had, um, about three or four pretty nice reorders just from, um, clients that are good clients. So anyway, I had a lot of fun. I'm excited because I'm looking forward to gaining some new clients, which means new team members, new, new everybody. So that was my wheel and deal thing. That this is a great celebration. I need a pom-pom. Um, yay. I don't have a pom-pom, but here. Yay the scarf yay <laughs> Jana's clapping that's awesome Nancy that's so exciting I saw some pictures so um it looks like you had a really really fun time and it was a beautiful setup it looked like so congratulations that's Thank so you. awesome um and today is I had a tooth a tooth extracted Ooh. so I'm still oozing so I'm not Count Dracula just letting you all know <laughs> Hey, Nancy, how did, um, did you talk to some people at your dental office today about yes. Mary Kay? Can, do you mind sharing? Yeah, because not everything is a win, right? Um, I took a bath uh, to the dentist's office. Uh, Kimmy used to work there and I feel like I know them all pretty well. But today there was a bunch of people there that I didn't know and I just brought it in and said, hey, I don't know if you guys have finished your Christmas shopping yet or not, but have a few last minute ideas here. And I had a couple of the men's um, body wash slash shampoos all wrapped up cute. And I had some of the uh, uh, apple and almond and the other one uh, wrapped up. I also had some hand cream. Um, I told them, you know, my daughter's a hygienist, used to work here and her hands are always really, really dry. Um, and so they all looked through it and everybody said, well, I'm done with my shopping. So I didn't have any sales, but you know what? We do get no's, right? That's right. And life's going to go on. That's so awesome. You're absolutely right. And you just keep on trucking, right? Yeah. And who knows? Those girls are going to remember some of the stuff that you brought in and they're going to be like, hmm, I wonder who that lady, and they got your name. So. You never know well, what I, can come I, from that. I do send that office a catalog every month when, or every time we send out catalogs. 
That's really smart. Maybe who whose offices should we be sending catalogs to? I know, oh, I'm writing that down right now. <laughs> that is smart. Oh I my gosh. That. Send catalogs to businesses. Okay, that'll be our Mary Kay secret because we can't have the whole world doing that. <laughs> Anybody else have any celebrations, even if they're not as big as Nancy's? Um, I'll say for myself, um, it was kind of, um, I had a lot of like showers and baby showers this past week and a lot to do with like my church family. And um, so I almost at every shower, um, someone walked up to me and we're like, do you really sell Mary Kay? <laughs> I was like, absolutely. I, I was like, I'm pretty sure I've made this publicly known, but apparently not. Um, and so got a couple orders that way um, and a couple facials, color looks um, booked, which is really exciting to kind of color match some um, older ladies in my church, which is exciting. And then um, uh, yesterday at church uh, during the Christmas cantata right before it, um, a woman named Martha in my church, she looked at me and she goes, Trista, Mary Kay? And she was like doing like, mo and I was like, I, yeah. And she goes, I'll talk to you afterwards. And so we chit chatted and um, her consultant, I guess, was out of Wamigo and moved away. And so she wanted somebody more local. And so I, so I just, you know, did all the P's and Q's of making sure she was consultant free. But um, so those are always those fun surprises where you're, you know, you keep on going and your business keeps on moving and just being a alert and ready, you know? Right. Awesome. Yes, Jenna. I have a new team member this week. Yay, Jenna. Yay. Her name is, uh, her name is Kaylin Bergman. And she, um, I sold her some Mary Kay products before. And then um, she, and she's asked me lots of questions in the past. And then my sister-in-law joined my team and started serving. <laughs> um, and then um, my sister-in-law has got a different business, so she's backed off a little bit. And so Kaylin actually reached out to me and that's mm -hmm. a pretty good indicator that they don't have someone that's servicing them consistently if they're reaching out to you. So um, she reached out to me and asked if I um, had some products and she was out, out of something. I put, her, put that in the mail right away. And then I said, Oh my gosh, guess what? Tomorrow is our 60 person off deal. So um, she, unfortunately she didn't get in on that because we were the time we, it just yeah. didn't happen. But 50% is still amazing. And so she loves the time wise repair. And I told her, I said, if you want a deal, this is what really makes sense. Plus you guys, she has a daughter. Um, her daughter's gorgeous and, and has, she's got granddaughters. And so she hasn't, she, this is going to bless their whole family. So, and I think if she ever did this, or I think if she ever does this more, she'd be great. Like she'd be amazing. That's so cool. She's influential. I love that. Congratulations, Jana. That's exciting. Um, I will say also something that I really have loved this week, especially is just shopping from my own Mary Kay inventory um, for like last minute gifts for people I forgot about myself, um, like people at work and teacher friends and things like that. That I'm like, oh, I forgot about that person and just snatching something up and being able to do that has been super awesome. So again, I know we always talk about shopping from our own, <clears throat> our own store as often as we can. And, you know, not going out and, you know, purchasing whatever off the shelves at the store. So if you're not doing that, do that. <laughs> so, okay. Anybody else? All right. Well, this week, I encourage you to look at the silver lining and maybe one or two small things that um, you can do in your Mary Kay business to kind of celebrate as we um, meet next week. And it can be as small as um, you taking courage and talking to a neighbor or doing a, 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 a chat, a warm chat in line, or um, just like Nancy did and going into an office and having stuff to share. So um, 
I'm challenging myself and I'm challenging you. So good luck with that. All right. So if you guys don't have any more celebrations, and I don't know if there's any announcements that I need to say besides our lovely star, um, our star date on Friday, which if you haven't been reached out to, look at your messages. I think Jana and Rosie have messaged everyone. Jana? Um, we're going to be celebrating um, Annette Klein's red jacket celebration that night too. Oh, so please um, bring a little red gifty gift, um, you know, something just fun for her. You don't have to spend a lot of money, pack a big red, some hot tamales, not that she eats a lot of candy, but um, you know what I mean? Just something. And you know, she is so like, she would wear, like if you got her like big red lip earrings or something, she'd wear them. Um, she's just such a sport, but um, we're just going to kind of celebrate her during the dinner portion. And then we will, um, you know, put a red jacket on her, take some pictures and go from there. So anyway, thank you all. What time? I'm thinking 5.30 PM on Friday. Nancy, it's up to you, but if you want to ride with me, we can carpool. Um, if you want to come to my house around five. I'll do that. Yeah, that sounds good. And if there's not an amazing movie to go to, we'll get in my car and we'll ride around and look at Christmas lights and then go to a coffee shop and visit. So um, yeah, I'm looking out for, uh, I think I got my eye on a pretty good movie. Hopefully it's still in Manhattan, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Awesome. I like it. Well, we are going to, yep. Go ahead, Jenna. Finish star, you guys. Finish your star out this week. Yes. Finish out your star. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Um, three days. Three days, I believe. It's three days. 13, 14, 15. So three days. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to get right into our coaching session. So um, I, I have been coached by Rosie. <laughs> and Rosie has coached me. Um, how to kind of approach parties. Um, and I kept that in mind as I was looking for different things that I might share with you guys um, to talk with your hostesses about. And so I came across this really cool um, PDF. Um, I honestly cannot tell you who came up with it, but it is definitely, I looked through it, it's definitely Mary Kay um, scripted, like all the things, all the information, everything I would do on this um, really cool PDF. So um, I'm going to kind of um, just talk to you um, really like, I'm not going to read everything on this thing, but I'm going to share you some bullet points um, on what you should be doing um, to be a successful coach as far as working and booking those parties with your hostesses and what that looks like. So I am going to pull up. Can I can share my screen, can't I? Yes. Awesome. So I'm going to share my screen. And you can, can you still see me when I share my screen? A little bit on the side. Yes. Awesome. So can you see this little guy right here? Yes, we can. Super awesome. So it's effective hostess coaching. Um, and the focus is eliminating post, post, uh, postponements. I think I'm saying that right. Postponements. Yeah. So really making sure that you are always having a party and always um, not having people reschedule constantly. Um, I know a lot of times when we're booking a party, hostess can um, like cancel last minute or constantly reschedule on us and times aren't lining up and things like that. And so um, just making sure that you are doing um, a successful coaching with your hostess to help keep the party stuck and to get her to benefit from all the free things that she can get um, for hosting a party with you. And so it's, it's really, really good. It's really good information. So um, I think sometimes we um, kind of get stuck in a rut and we, we book a party and we kind of get lost in the flutter and it's either um, we forget to touch base with our hostess. So she's touching base with her guest or 
we forget to touch base with all the guests and build that relationship between there. And so um, this is kind of um, a really cool tool, I think, as far as having an effective um, hostess coaching. So the first thing um, that you want to focus on are like, what are her goals? So what does she want like out of hosting the party? And so you want to tell her that it's important that you tell her that her job is to help it. Your job is to help her get whatever she wants at a great discount or as much as she can for free. And we all know, I mean, most of us join Mary Kay for the 50% discount. Yes. And so we already know free is something that excites people and kind of snags people in that and a discount. Right. And so you want to focus on letting her know what she can get out of it. You're going to tell her she has two goals, that you have two goals for her, okay? Um, one is that when her friends leave her house after the event, that they will be glad that she invited them and um, that they are going to be excited for including them in there. And then the second goal is to help her get as much free product as possible. So you don't want her to ever feel like, um, her inviting the people and the party was like, Mer. you want her to feel excited and important and that it was a successful party. Um, you want to make sure that she does get as much free stuff as possible. Um, because if it's a successful party, that free stuff she's going to get is not going to hurt your pocketbook because you're going to have orders from that successful party, hopefully more bookings off that successful party. And, um, maybe even some, um, some uh, new consultants, which, I mean, no one would be sad about that, right? Um, and so getting her excited, right? We want her excited about hosting. We don't want her to feel, we don't want her to feel obligated. We want her to feel exciting that she is doing exciting, something exciting for you and for herself and for her guests. Like this is her party that you are hosting, like you are putting on for her. She's just hosting it. So number two, have 25 hostess packets ready at all times. I was like, holy smokes, 25 hostess packets. But um, it talks about why. So in it, it's there's a list of things you can include in it with brochures, sell tickets, team building information, um, the lookbook, business cards, if you need all of that. Um, but having those packets ready, um, you can book. I mean, you can book a party at any moment. You're like, oh, boom, here, have two or three in your purse, have, you know, you're pulling those out as you're going about your day. You don't know who you're ever going to run into. We're talking about warm chatters. We're at the office. We're at the dentist's office, the doctors. Um, you ran into somebody you haven't seen in a while. Those hostess packets are right there. Um, we always talk about like rebooking or trying new products with our already customers like that we already have. And so that would be a great, hey, I've got this hostess packet. We're doing a new look, new you, new new you, new look. Um, I'd love to book a party with you and your girlfriends in the new year. And here's a party, you know, a hostess packet. This is what's included. And you have that right on hand. Um, you want to know, number three, you want to know her plan. What is your hostess's plan? Um, in order to help your hostess set her goal, you need to know, what it is. And until you are, until you, this is something that caught me. I was like, whoa, until you have used your hostess plan for 25 to 30 classes, you do not know if it works. And I feel like, and Jana and Rosa, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like it makes me think of like, <clears throat> like what's the 30 faces, um, the, the challenge that you do, um, power start, the power start. Mm -hmm. You don't know if it's working um, or what is or isn't working if you're not continually doing it, um, because you are going to have those yeses, you are going to have those no's. But I feel like we talk about creating a habit and trying to find, you, we talk about numbers all the time. I feel like that 25 to 30 classes is going to really show you kind of where you need to tweak things or not and what's working well, what you might want to add to it maybe that kind of meshes with your teaching style and what you do. Cause you know, my teaching style is different than Jana's teaching style. And so keeping that in mind is huge and important. Um, so keep that in mind, like your first, your first <coughs> coaching session 
and your first party is not necessarily going to be your very best. And so keeping that in the back of your head and, okay, I got, I got 30 classes to hold, did one. Was it a thumbs up, a thumbs middle, thumbs down and move on and take those notes because it's going, it's going to happen because things are not perfect, right? So you want to design your hostess program based on what it would, what would take you to be a hostess. Okay. So think about you. Think about parties you have hosted or not Mary Kay, but think about other. I'm thinking I've hosted for Pampered Chef. I've hosted, like, I love Pampered Chef. So absolutely. Um, I've hosted Norwex because I love their cleaning products. So those are things that I'm like, what would I do and what would it take for me to host? I want to get a ton of free stuff. I want to get as much free as possible. So I know I need to get as many people as possible. So if I like free stuff, pretty sure the people in my life like free stuff, right? And let's just be honest, the cost of everything has skyrocketed. So free is like amazing, double free, right? <laughs> so things that you can include in that offer. These are not ne like necessarily like ha you have to, but <clears throat> you can... <clears throat> The first thing you can do is reward the hostess if her class holds on the original date and not being rescheduled, okay? The second thing you can award is attendance and sales. Um, third, you can reward for bookings. Fourth, you can reward when the hostess learns more about Mary Kay by maybe doing like a pink possibility call with you or getting people on or maybe doing a fun fab five in five minutes quick party. Um, and then... The last thing that you could do is just reward for outside orders because it's super duper easy to get outside orders. So that is her getting bookings before the party even starts. You know, man, I really, you know, man, I really wish I could be at your party. Um, we, I live in a military town, so I have lots of friends outside. So I get a lot of outside orders when I'm hosting a party for people. And that is just because those are those connections. They want to support me. They love me. And so they're going to buy something, right? And that already boosts my free stuff that I get from whoever I hosted for. So there's a really cool script here that talks about um, how you can thank them for placing the, like how you can thank the guest for placing the order. Um, and I think it's really simple, straightforward. Um, the thing about Mary Kay scripts, I think sometimes, and I think of Dolores with this, and this is not too do you not to run, throw you under the bus or anything, but Dolores is very against, like, she's not a script person. They kind of rub her the wrong way a little bit. Make it your own. Like, look at the script. How would you say it? And regardless of whether you like scripts or not, when you are rehearsing something that you want to say to somebody, that's a script. Like, think about that. You know, if I'm getting up and going to speak in front of somebody, I'm like rehearsing what I'm going to say. That's a script. And so you are just practicing something to be better prepared to present that information to the people. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, so I, I just think sometimes it's like people think it's repetitive, repetitive. We always talk about making it your own. Like Mary Kay wants us to invest in this and take ownership of this. And these are just tools to help us get there. And so I think that's so important for us to remember um, because we love this business for so many other reasons besides selling the product, right? And so that can go into your script and where you're reaching your guests and your hostess. Um, and then number four, so moving on to number four, you, you want to teach the hostess how to invite her guests. A lot of hostess will freak out, be like, what am I supposed to say? I love when my my consultant or whoever I'm hosting the party for, this is the script you can use. This is what you say first. This is what you say second. And it works. And it's like magic. So you want to tell the hostess that you're going to provide a link for her. And this caught me off guard for a second because I'd never seen this. So I'm going to share it with you guys tonight. It says, tell the hostess you will provide a link to her to use the Beauty Vite Party Planner through the Mary Kay website so you can email your guests. Jan and Rosie, have you ever heard of that? The beauty vibe. Yeah. Party planner. I have heard of that, but I have not utilized it. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> is it amazing? And so it's, it's, is it, did you say email? It's, it's through the website. So I'm going to actually stop sharing really quick and share again, because I have to pull up the other screen. 
Um, I'm going to actually show you. <coughs> I'm going to show you it real quick. Um, I hopped on. I was like, is it through my like my website? No, it's through Mary Kay and touch. And you log in to Mary Kay and I'm in it right now. So I'm going to I just I minimized you guys. Sorry, I'm trying to. There you go. Sharing. All right. Sharing my screen again. Sorry for all the sharing. Can you see this? Yes. So I was looking through, I was like, where, I bet it's under events. No, is it under resource? No, I was just looking at all these tabs. So I went to business tools right here and right there, beauty invite party planner. And I clicked it. Okay. So let me know if it goes there. Okay. Did it go there? Can you see welcome to beauty Vite? Yeah. All right. So right here is, it says you have upcoming parties. You have no upcoming parties, Trista. That's not cool. So this kind of reminded me a little bit of post my parties a little bit. Okay. So I'm, I'm here, I'm looking, I'm saying you can customize the party invitations to do instant digital invites directly to your um, attendees inboxes. Um, you can send that e-look calendar to the guest to preview. Um, it's got effortless updates. So automated reminders for the party guest to stay to date. And then it instantly in saves info. So it saves their guest information. Um, it's all saved to your My Customer app, which is awesome. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Um, <clears throat> and so you click here. There's terms and conditions, obviously. So look over that. But here we go. You can view or edit events you have or get the party started. So you click get the party started. And then it says select a theme. Oh my gosh. I was like, this is amazing. You're invited to a bridal party. You can do browse that wow. A grand opening to your business. Your holiday gift party. Spa lash party. Um, luscious lips. I mean, color look like, I mean, it's so crazy. I'm like, this is amazing. So you, so you go in here, you select, you invited to share the beauty. So we'll say select that. And then you go in here and this is where you plug in your party information. Okay. Where it's going to take place. Um, Obviously, this is not virtual. Like, this is not for a virtual party. This is for an in-person party. Now, I don't know if you can say it's virtual. I haven't gone that far and deep, but I'm just kind of walking you through here. Like, you're going to put your hostess stuff in here. You're going to click next. Oh, it says online party. There's a there's a box yeah. for online party. Or am I? Or am I not seeing it? Under the party information, it says time zone starts, and then it says check if this is an online. Party. Oh yeah, right there. Boom. OMG. Oh, so, isn't this awesome? So you click next. It maybe it won't let me click next because I haven't put. Yeah, you have to it. fill it in. All right, so click next, and then it's gonna walk you through inviting your guests. She's gonna have given you. Their, their name and information, right? And they're, you're getting that, that information from your hostess because you're going to be calling the guests. You're going to pre-profile your guests. And that's kind of more in what I'm going to talk about. You're going to talk about your party options and then you're going to review and submit. So I just encourage you to maybe even make up your own party and just go through this as a, as a consultant. <coughs> I'm going to stop, <coughs> stop sharing for a second. I'm sorry. Um, and just see what that looks like for you. And I was like, this is awesome. This looks like very, this, like this could be something I would use. Um, it's not something I'm having to pay for. Um, and I think if it does what I think it might do, I might, I might be using it more than maybe something else. So anyway, so check that out. It's exciting. I was like, ooh, I wonder what Jan and Rosie think about this. So I'm glad I, I got to teach you two something new. Rosie, you already knew about it, didn't you? You're muted. <laughs> I have seen it, but honestly, I never clicked on it and really went into it and learned like you yeah. did. So great job. And they isn't it neat that you just don't know? Like I have been through a lot of stuff in Mary, but I'm like, wow, I still need to like 
really spend a little bit more time studying this website right. and what Mary Kay does for us. I am just like, I'm always blown away by what Mary Kay does for their consultants. Amen. And I'm like, whoa, this is super legit. And so. I think, I think that sometimes we get caught up in scrolling on social media mm-hmm. and we have to remember that something that I learned a long time ago, um, ask yourself this question is what I'm doing right now going to change my life in five years, or is it going to make a difference in the lives of others? And yeah. so sometimes going and studying that stuff is so important. They used to have a beauty bite e planner or whatever. And, um, that, that it's different. It is different than what they used to have. So Trista, amazing. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I know it's, go ahead. I said, I was just going to say, it's going to be a good thing probably to encourage us to get email addresses and stuff to try to work with that. Mm -hmm. Um, Mail is going up in January. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you do stamping, yeah. Uh, to send out information and stuff that is going up to 63 cents in January. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, go ahead, Jenna. I think I'm going to be my own hostess. I'm going to do a party. I'm going to be a hostess because I'm going to like, and I'm just going to get things started like that. I think I think I'm going to invite my, all of my local clients. Ooh, that's smart. Just do your and own have, hostess and do that. Just have a holiday, a holiday. And Nancy says, invite me. Um, a get to a little holiday get together. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so where we, people can come over and just share snacks and we can yeah. um, talk about, maybe it'll be a skin cycling. Event. I should invite me that way. I can see it and maybe I will. Get from it. And- you know, I'll invite you. Absolutely. But I'm wondering as we get deeper into that about the party, like what if you choose the color look party or like a lip party, maybe like there was that section where it says party information. Maybe uh-huh. there's like videos or like flyers and stuff that are incorporated in that, that you yeah. can select to like be reminded and sent. I don't know if that's true, but like, I'm just picturing like Mary Kate already does all this extra stuff with all the resources. Why not use those resources in this beauty by party thing? I don't know. I could see that being the case, but I don't know yet. So don't. That would be to- good. Well, how about this? You know, think about maybe holding a new year, new you party for Mm -hmm. your clients and then Mm -hmm. you can try that um color you know the the color thing and see what it does yeah so i love it i think that's great okay i know we're over time so i'm gonna i'm gonna go through the rest of this super super quick um let me share the screen real quick sorry you're fine let me let me see here if you have to hop off hop off you guys know how you feel about that all right can you is it back on the thing can you see it or is it still on the website Yes, ma'am. It's on the instructions. Yay. Okay. So that's where it teach, teach the host how to invite her guests. Okay. So you're going to tell, here's another script for you to use. Okay. So you want to invite her on the beauty invite. And then I loved this part. Hi. Hi, Sarah. This is Trista. Do you have a quick second? Great. I have good news. You know that I find that blah, 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 blah. All right, it says when you're talking to not, what did I read that out? She's, okay, hold on. I think I read it somewhere else. There was part where, oh no, this is her inviting her friends. Okay, we're gonna scroll down. Here's a script for her. Now for you, you wanna, okay, set five, set a deadline for the guest list, offer an incentive, okay? always have a deadline. Okay. You want to have it at least 48 hours from the time you book the event to have time to make sure that you, um, get time to do the pro- pre the profiling of the guests and you're getting your stuff together. So you want to have that, um, w- within 48 hours, um, after you've booked the event. Okay. And you know, she'll be serious if she's getting her, getting you guys those, um, we all know that if you invite 15 people, at least five will come. Jenna and Rosie always talk about numbers. Um, you have, you know, five, um, career chats. One is most likely to sign up. It's all about those numbers, right? All right. And so now you want to talk to hostess about each guest. So this is where you're going to get their phone numbers, their names, and learn a little bit more about them. And then let her know that you're going to call each guest. Okay. 
So that's where seven comes in. Call the guests. <laughs> I liked this part a lot um, because I don't know how many times I say, hi, hi, Sarah, this is Trista calling. Um, this is Trista calling from with Mary Kay. Or hi, this is Trista, Sarah's beauty consultant. Sarah's Mary Kay beauty consultant. So in this script, it says, hi, Sarah, this is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a terrible cough. This is uh, Trista calling. It says, do not say that this is Krista with Mary Kay calling. I want to engage them in a conversation and this beginning will get them into a thought process. There are just a, so there are just a couple of responses um, when you start a call this way. So they're either going to say this. So, hi, Sarah, this is Trista calling. They're either going to say, um, yes, do I know you? Or what is this regarding? So whatever they say, then you're going to continue with, I'm the consultant <laughs> who is doing Sarah's Mary Kay party on this date. So kind of changing up when you're saying, when you're a consultant and with who, that way you kind of have them on the phone and kind of, kind of, they say, hook them a little bit, if you will. And then you go in, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I apologize. I'm so sorry. And then you go in um, and continue with the script and let them know. Um, so Sarah, you know, loves dogs and she is a chiropractor. And you kind of say, oh, she told me that so-and-so is doing this and that you love makeup or that you use your hands a lot in your job and you might like lotion. So this is why you get the information from your hostess before you call your guests, right? It's going to make that connection pretty nice for them, okay? And then you kind of, if they say yes or no, follow the script. And then there are some really cool pre-profiling questions to ask them, okay? Depending on the party, depending on what you're doing, you're going to go through these questions like, have you tried Mary Kay? Do you have a beauty consultant? Are you using any products to um, like your skin type? Um, things that describe your skin. Are you interested um, in any of the benefits, the following benefits? And it just kind of goes through stuff for you. Are you aware of any are you aware of any allergies that you might have? What's your hair color, eye color, all of those things, depending on the party, obviously. And then you kind of wrap it up by encouraging them that you're excited about them, all of that fun stuff, um, and wrap it up. Okay. This can take <laughs> between, depending on the guest list, um, 15 to 30 minutes. Um Sometimes it takes longer depending on the conversation that you have. This is why we try to stick to a script and keep the conversation flowing because we don't want to waste their time and we don't want to waste our time. And you really want to do that. Jana, did you have something? Oh, I was just going to say that those, those questions that you're asking her are the ones that pop up on a profile sheet. So if you have, Oh, perfect. Yeah. If you have profile sheets, <clears throat> you, know, you can just go through the, what is on the profile sheet and just ask yeah. for everything that's on there. Oh, that's perfect. That's a really good idea. Awesome. And then number eight, you're going to call the hostess back and you're going to say something like, I'm so excited about your event. Um, and so are your guests. I can't wait to meet your friends um, and just talk about reminders that you can give her things that you might do throughout the party, making sure um, most of her get, well, all of her guests hopefully are 18 years or older, um, reminding her of her outside order promotion and all of that. And then as the day of the event, like additional coaching, the day of the event. Um, and I love this because they're like always room for more coaching. So regardless of what's going on in your day, we all have personal stuff. We all have life happen, right? Okay, we do. You book this party. You don't want to waste her time and you definitely don't want to waste your guest time. So we get emergencies happen and come up. That is an exception. If you can get like Rosie had something come up and she needed me to step up and do a party for her. If that's something that you can do too, that is something I really recommend. So you're still getting benefits and profiting um, and not wasting anybody's time. But if you're just having a crabby day and you just feel like staying in bed, you need to suck it up buttercup because you've committed to this. You've done all this prep. Your hostess has done all this prep. And so have your guests, like they're getting excited about this event too, right? So just have a positive attitude. Um, 
leave your stuff in the car and get ready to have a great time with our guests. And we all know when we get around Mary Kay and we get around people and people that are excited about being pampered and just encouraging and loving on people that usually that positive side comes out, right? So arrive on time, um, coach her to assist during the class, bring her into that conversation, um, show her how to demonstrate satin hands and satin lips, ask her where you'd have a private area to speak with a guest. So have that prepared. Um, ask her who is coming, who she thinks would make a great hostess, ask her who is coming, who she thinks could be a good consultant. And then obviously ask her to wait to serve refreshments till either, um, after the party, or even when you're meeting one-on-one with a guest, um, to give them something to do after the party is over. And that's something that, um, I have learned. So there's that. I will have this to share with you guys. So don't feel like you had to write everything down. Um, I will say in just my own personal experience with hosting in-person parties, um, mixing food and stuff, I have done that. And it really does take away from what you really want to do and accomplish in the party, which is the skincare and the beauty. So just remind that and just, just have that as an expectation. Refreshments are after. Like we don't mix skin and skincare and food. And that really is going to help um, people not feel like they're just waiting around or getting up and leaving because they've got to go. They're eating, they're enjoying the conversation while you're pulling them and having those closing meetings with them. So that is what I have on coaching tonight. And I just love that outline and that lay and those scripts that were incorporated in that. So I will be sure to get that. Um, I will be sure to get that to you guys. So is there any questions about anything um, that I presented tonight or any input or Anything that may have worked or not worked with you guys? Trista, I think you did a fantastic job. Oh, I, I am so excited to play with the beauty, the beauty bite. Um, I'm just excited to do more in-person parties. I guess since we, you know, got out of COVID, I never, you know, I thought about obviously booking them, but, you know, maybe being my own hostess and starting, um, in the new year that way. I think that's uh, going to be something that I'm excited to do and use that beauty bite planner. Um, but also I just love, you just got me excited about building relationships through the coaching process. And so I want to thank you so much for that. Oh, you're welcome. I am super excited. I, I couldn't help but think like, where am I going to start? And I think like starting, like being your own hostess, reaching out to those and booking from those friends again and and like just branching out I think I think a lot of us are still kind of stuck in the virtual mindset and doing virtual parties which are great they're quick and they're easy but really just building that relationship side of things are so important and um I just feel like it's a great opportunity to start reaching out to your like even our customers like we haven't really we've called them and we've delivered stuff but Have we really like met them and checked, like built that, continued that relationship with them too? And so, you know, it's been two or three years, you know, since we've done like solid in-person stuff. And I think like they have all met new people because of social media. They've all met new people because of online stuff. And so the opportunity for us to grow um, in those in-person, I think is a great, I think it's a great opportunity. So. I think so too. And, you know, I'm even excited about booking something maybe virtual with the long distance customers Mm -hmm. of mine and saying, Hey, you know what? I'm going to host a party. And so do you want to bring a cut, like a couple of friends that doesn't matter where they're from. And so give me a guest list of five people. And so if you can get, um, like we talked about on a director meeting last, like at the beginning of the month, get like a block party, they call them block parties. And so you get like 15 hostesses and then, you know, you can coach it the same way. You can send out the skincare or the color product or whatever, but I'm, I'm just really excited about it. Thank you for just really teaching us so well. Oh, thank you guys. Thanks for listening. Trista. Sorry. I had to step away. (laughs) You would want to know, you'd probably want to know, but I'm not going to tell you um, (laughs) why. Um, But anyway, um, thank you so much. I think, you know, you present things in a typical kindergarten teacher way to adults. And that's what I love about your training. (laughs) You 
outline everything. I mean, you don't treat us like we're five. <laughs> well, quit some talking. Of us, Raise your hand. Still like to act five, but um, you know, it's like you start with step one and then build upon it. And I love the list. Anytime there's a list, you got mm -hmm. me because I think that's so much easier than to read a big narrative. You know, have I done this, 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 this? I mean, it's it's step by step. So. I thought it was really good. I'm really glad that you made us aware of the beauty invites or evites or whatever bites, the beauty kind bites, of bites yeah. they are. Beauty yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thanks for teaching old dogs. Well, I'm <laughs> <don't>, <laughs> Janice, the old dog. I'm only a half old dog. <laughs> teaching old dogs new tricks. So seriously, thank you. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's all I got, ladies. Do we want to close in prayer? Yes. Okay. And I do believe we have a thing at eight tonight. No. No, we don't. Okay. Just joking. Nothing. Nothing oh, well, then good. This was good then. I'm glad it went longer. Yay. All right. Well, any prayer requests before we pray? And I'll close this in prayer. Is there any prayer requests? I will just say for myself, for my sister, Nicole, um, she has to have double double carpal tunnel surgery on her surge. She has sur surgical carpal tunnel. So she's getting that scheduled. Um, and then um, just praying for our trip to Maine. We leave on the 22nd early, early in the morning that we have a safe trip. I know it's a week or so away. Um, and then um, also my sister, she kind of started a cleaning business, one of her friends in North Carolina. They had a really scary incident today with um, actually like a murderer, like next door like it was it was a yeah it was crazy um they they took the guy down in front of them it was it was insane like crazy so um they're i don't know so i can tell you more about that on friday yes. i think she needs to book some more parties and she doesn't have to use her hands hey. double, why would they do double I know. Carpal tunnel why would they do both at the same time why would they do that I know I am. Not I've sure. had it in one hand and this hand could not curl my hair. I couldn't even hold a piece of paper yeah. right away. I mean, it got, so, it got better, you know, but whoa. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So she's got, yeah. They want to do both. Well, she I has guess. somebody that can wipe her butt. Seriously. Yeah. She, <laughs> does. she does. does. She does. Maybe she has a bidet. <laughs> I have one. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> But we will. We will. We will right. pray for her. No, All you're right. talking about Nicole. I'm assuming you're talking about Nicole. Yeah, Nicole. Yeah. All right, ladies. I'm gonna pray. Close us in prayer and just love y'all. So, all right. Um, Father God, thank you so much, Lord, for this time um, to be able to come in front of these amazing women and for them to trust me with knowledge that I was able to um, come upon and um, find and and just share with them, Lord and I pray that they are all are able to take something away from this evening, Lord, and incorporate into their lives and their business, Lord. And um, I just thank you for that opportunity. I thank you that Rosie and Jana um, kind of are entrusting us to be leaders um, and be here to support one another. And um, it just kind of gives you a new, fresh vision of things, Lord. And I just thank you for that, Father. Um, I just want to pray for all of these women and for the women that aren't on tonight, Lord that will be watching this recording and um, <clears throat> listening later, whatever's going on in their lives, God, we all have stuff going on, whether we think it needs to be prayed for or not, Father God. And you are a holy, big, amazing, righteous Lord. And I know that you have great, amazing plans for all of us. And you have um, plans for a hope and a future and for, th for things not to harm us, God. And I pray that whatever's going on in all of our lives, Lord, that um, we would be aware God, that we would be present and that we would trust you, Father. Um, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this season. Father, we thank you for Jesus, Lord. We thank you so much for Jesus. Um, we thank you for Jesus because I think without Jesus um, and Mary Kay knowing you, Lord, that this company would not be the company that it is, Lord. And so I thank you for that, Father. And uh, we love you. And if we don't love you, I hope we we find to love you, Lord. And uh, just thank you so much for your name. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Trista. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>